Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, going to have a little bit of fun today with older radios. So, uh, you know, a mix of radios. We see here the uh, Chinese Malahite or whatever, the uh, XH data, Texan PL330, all modern technology. Of course, my trusty old uh, Radio Shack, a realistic. Realistic DX100 getting uh, Supreme Master TV on 15770 right now. The radio that started all was crappy when I compare it today with radios, but hey, it was my fun, it was my radio back then. Thought it was so cool. Nice to see it still works. A little scratchy on the you know, switches, but it works. And uh, took out the uh, Grundig satellite transistor 6001, also known as the Grundig uh, satellite 210. This is from 1969. It's incredible technology still for the time. Just amazing what this thing does, and uh, pretty uh, cool. Pretty cool. So. Uh, these are going to be radios I'm going to use today in a little bit and maybe make a few videos of reception and probably would be interesting to compare the DX100 with some of the modern technology and also maybe with, you know, the, uh, the Grundig satellite. Uh, one little sad thing happened today that uh, we'll need to, I'll, I'll actually open it and see if, what exactly could be happening. So uh, this is the band selection. Usually, if I turn the uh, band switch on the right, left side, uh, right side of the radio, sorry, it actually rotates the uh, band, but it doesn't anymore. Uh, it did like four or five times when I was switching between bands, and uh, it actually stopped. It still switches the bands. I can still listen to the radio, but the uh, this should be rotating, and it doesn't anymore. So. Uh, I'll try to see if there's an easy fix for this. I'm not going to dabble too much in it because it's a very complex receiver. Kind of sad that that happened today, but you know, 52 year old radio, uh, you're bound to have glitches that can happen from time to time when you use it. So uh, I'm going to check that out um, probably this weekend if I have some time. So kind of fun to see old radios and, and you know, compare new radios and I've lost a lot of old radios over time that I've unfortunately sold that I should have never sold. Uh, the Panasonic RF 2800, the Panasonic RF B300 portable, the um, uh, what I had also a, um, a realistic or Radio Shack DX302. All radios that uh, would be nice today in my collection, but you know, you. Uh, Sometimes you need money for something and you think, well, I'm gonna sell the radio, I don't use it, I got something more modern. Only later you understand that, well, should have kept it, would have been part of my radio collection. So nice to see all these old radios working and uh, having fun with these uh, today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.